give up and saying how bad off we are. Nah, this ain't fun to think of. Realize and prove about what really happened. But it's all units, search is called off. Control. Repeat, abandon no, search. No. Return to patrol. Oh, folks, fear would rage. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcy? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? <sighs> Lead the way. No, I stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. You gonna kill us! And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the one. Someone's gonna be hurting there. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Yep. Locker room's down here on the end. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson!
Just had to start something. Keep moving! Kick his ass! Today's the day you... Keep moving! to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Now. You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. You niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, 
You be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up, boy. It's gonna curl and twist as the flap. Ah! 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 What? Oh, motherfucker! Running for cover! Get in my So that's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Wait for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I can't go out like this. Not no. Don't no worry. Way. Lou and Sal will be along shortly. back. Monkeys like swinging in trees. That true?
from the other side. That fuck is mine! This is the way you- South down. Right away. He's going in. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See? Si. Certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. Brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No. I do not drink. George, he tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger killed your brother? That you wanted to discuss a deal between the two of us? My brother Tommy was a smart kid. He could have been anything. I tried to tell him go to college, even offered to pay for it. I apologize for your loss. I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all worked out, including how I was going to pay for it. Now it's all a goddamn mess. <laughs> you want my money. Well, I'm going to need enough to finish the construction. It ain't going to be cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words. Please. I want your money. This is good. <laughs> then I will bring you the money, and in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city, and you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only and reason. And you wish me to kill the nigger. Hmm? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something 
knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I'm expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit, and I won't accept anything else. I'm gonna ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. I'm sorry Burke is pissed off. Really, I am. But, Lincoln, you called in my men to lock this turf down for you, and it'd be a slap in the face if you tried to take it away. This here's a win-win for me. If you give Burke the district, he shuts his Irish mouth. If you don't, we get to kill him. What's not to love about that? Do right by me, or there'll be hell to pay a chalky. I never meant for you to think I was taking advantage of you or our history, Burke. This part of the city is coming to you, and I hope this squares us up. Christ, lad. You had me nearly shitting myself. Thank you for honoring our partnership here. Now get ready, because we're about to make a hell of a lot of money together. You got a funny goddamn definition of loyalty. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time you come calling, asking for help. Son of a bitch. I, I don't take this shit lightly, Lincoln. I mean, a part of this or I'm not. There's no in-between. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. <laughs> 